you, these people were going crazy that morning when all that was going on. Oh man, I was yeah. too. Yeah, they, they, what were you supposed to? I mean, it was, uh, uh, it was a deal to uh, when they swapped all that over. So you never know about this cable connections. They may cut us off and do the same thing tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. Put us somewhere else. You can't never mm -hmm. tell that much about them. Uh, they're not like we are. You know, we're committed. We, we, we're going to be right. there, rain or shine. That's right. Uh, hide when it's lightning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you do. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're glad, you, you know, hope there's a lot of you turned in to, tuned in tonight because uh, uh, I think we got uh, a pretty good arsenal. Uh, Mike's got some good crappie film. I've got some good bass film. And uh, what I think is good bass film. Uh, and uh, so we're, we're just looking forward to getting it, getting it done. So uh, let's see. Chandler, what is the phone number over here? Okay. On the, on the screen. There we yeah. go. Hold on just one second. I had that wrote down in my notebook, and, and it got gone. 8112. 483. 8112. It's been that way for heck as old as Chandler is. Uh, but anyway, do, do do that so we can uh, communicate between, uh, uh, you know, all of us at a time if we need to and and uh, keep our buddies close and, and uh, keep them informed on, on how the fishing's going, at least where we're fishing at the time. And it's not going to be long, Mike, till you know, uh, what about the 15th of April? Ain't that when you usually start night fishing? Sometimes. I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was. I'm just kidding. It might be <laughs> might be the end of April anyway. But uh, we're, we're, we're going to do good, and, and uh, but I would appreciate anything you all can do to help when you run into your fishing buddy. Make sure you let him know that it's, it's 1086 to get in over here at the studio. Call us any time. Yeah. Uh, the number there, he put it on the screen. If you write that number down, uh, you can call over here and Chandler will answer the phone. He'll push the button and we can talk on right here on the on the screen. So on our own live. Put, yeah, be on, be live on the on the screen here. Uh, let me think, Mike. Uh, let's see. What was it else? Anyway, uh, you guys know it's already been several tournaments, Watch Bar, Norris, uh, everywhere. Uh, this past weekend, there was a group of guys from out of state. And I, I, I just kind of sat there. I, I put my boat on the trailer. They, they was all loaded up, and they were had their microphone up and this, that, and the other. And I put my boat on the trailer and and uh, pulled up there and was tying everything down. And, and I, I kind of stayed around there for a few minutes because, listen, these guys, uh, they were after something. And I don't know what. I mean, and they had a dip net, Mike, that was like this. Yeah, Cat, uh, catfish. Catfish, that's what I figured. And, and so they moved in down on Watts Bar, and they were all over the lake. Uh, Could be rockfish, but I'd no, I'm, I believe it's catfish. I'm just about sure. Uh, you didn't see no wheelbar around, did you? <laughs> well, you know, I didn't really pay any attention <laughs> to that. And we, you know, we done that that one year down at uh, Caney Creek. Yeah. Run in down there, and they had them rolling them catfish up there in that wheelbar. Yeah. I said, this ain't the place for us. <laughs> you know, we don't have nothing big enough to handle them. And uh, so, uh, but uh, they were, they was quite a few of them, and they were from out of state. And uh, so it must have been their classic, I guess, uh, uh, or either he was just getting started for the season one. But they was, I met two of them up in the Emory, and then another one down uh, up uh, the Tennessee, uh, and then run into another one about uh, down at, uh, oh, heck, uh, right above Caney Creek there. 
mm -hmm. in the, back in the slough there. But they were out on the channel uh, or close to it, you know. Yeah, you know how that shallow water comes up out there. And uh, it's a good, good place. That whole thing is right there. But anyway, uh, who is it lived back in there? Oh, John, Ju Don Justice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was back in there in front of his house, and they were. I was watching them. And they was a couple of boats out there on the far end of that uh, island or the hump out through there. And uh, but they had some big boats and had some big dip nets. Mm, yeah, uh, for sure. Anyway. We're going to get into it. Chandler, are you ready? All right. Do your thing. All right, folks. There's a good fish right there. That's, that's a five-pounder, every bit of it, maybe more. I mean, he's a dandy. Lay him down here where I can get a good picture of him. There you go. All right, baby. Back in the water you go. Yeah, man. That is a dandy. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I seen the minnows boil up there a little bit, and I said, oh, yeah. Boy, that's he got it. All right. We got him back in the water, and we're going to try to get another. Okay. All right, folks. Steve finally got one this morning. Yeah. Trying to get him out of hook. Yeah. There we go. Give me just a minute, Scotty. Yeah. He got hoops all over. All right. Pretty large little man. bass right there, ain't it? Yeah, it's a little larger, man. All right, back in there he goes. All right, folks. Our Scotty is with a good fish now. Number two. Good looking fish. Nothing wrong with that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. That's a better fish right there now. Yeah. Number three. Looking good. Make sure. Yeah, there we go. I got you, Scotty. Scotty got him a little old small mouth there now. We'll take that. Good deal, Scott. Okay. Steve's got another one, a little large mouth there. A little slower today than it was last week. Fish cold as ice cube, ain't it? Well, come on, Hook. Get you out, and then you want to hang up again. Okay. Good. All right, folks, our Scotty is with another fish now. Looking better, Scotty. All right, there Scotty is with another large mouth. Get him back in. Let's get another. All right. What do you think, Scotty? Another fish. Okay. Steve's got another little one. Feature? Yeah. All right, back on. All right, folks. There's the first fish. Well, I've caught a couple of junk fish, but anyway, finally got that first fish to bite. There he is. We'll get him on the show there next week. And back in the water he goes. All right, he's gone. All right, folks, there's that second fish now. We're going to get him back and see if we can get another. All right, folks, I think that's number three or four. I lost track. I'd have to go through the screen and figure it out. But anyway, back in the water he goes. All right, folks, there's fish number four. Fish number four. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. All right, back in the water. Let's see if I got the, yeah, yeah, there he is. Good small man, nice. 
Nice. And there. Boy. Yeah, lay him back down. Yeah, look how fat that rascal is. Good. All right, old boy. Back to water. All right, folks. There's another good looking smallmouth, man. I'm telling you. Pretty as he can be. And I'm pretty sure he's over 15 inches. Closer to 17. All right, back in the water he goes. All right, folks, I got a, a little large mouth there. He's, uh, I don't know, heck, he's 14 inches close to it. We'll get him back in the water, get another. All right, folks, there's a four pluser. Four pluser. Guarantee it. Eat that rattle trap up. Now, we're going to put him back in the water, or her back in the water, and get another. There you go. Take off. There you go. Good job. All right, folks. Got another little bass. We'll get him back in the water and see if we can't get another. Chandler, you ran through that so fast, I didn't get a chance to get the dip net. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All right, we'll just have to do better next time, okay? All right, thank you, Chandler. <laughs> anyway, we want to thank our sponsor, IUOE, all the guys over there at the, uh, Union Hall. Uh, we appreciate you guys sponsoring us, keeping us up here. And, we enjoy uh, our fishing and, and uh, you know, uh, we're, we're, we're willing to take it. If you guys get a day off, if you get a day off and you want to go fishing, give us a shout. We'd like to accommodate you, get you down somewhere, one, one of the lakes, somewhere, Watts Bar, Norris, uh, Fort Loudon, wherever, Douglas. We've we've been on we've been on all of them around here over the years, Mike. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, without a doubt, we, we surely have. Uh, Shucks Farm, man, Cherokee, Douglas, why? Well, yeah, uh, we've been uh, been around. Uh, I got drawed with a guy at Cherokee there one time and. And uh, in the BFL, and uh, he he had shucks. I don't know. It must have been 15 rod and reels. And <laughs> so anyway, I got to finish telling this. Anyway, we uh, put it. I put his stuff in the boat, and and I said, now I said, I said, my stuff's up now in the front. I said. If you you know if you want to put some of them rods in the rod locker box, that's fine with me. And like I said, he had about 15 rod and reels, so he did put about half of them in the rod locker box. And uh, so anyway, uh, <laughs> we got out there and lined up for the blast off, and and uh, you know this things just stick on your mind, you know. And and uh, he said. Uh, where are you thinking about going? Yeah, it's in. Yeah, fine job. Thank you, Chandler. 
And he said, where are you thinking about going? I said, well, I, I'm not going to shut down until we get down there to the boat ramp below the dam. What? I said, you think that's where we need to be? I said, that's where we need to be. And so we, we blasted off. And it didn't take a little bit to get to where I was going down there at the boat ramp. And we run in at the boat ramp there below the dam, or right there just a little ways from the dam there, and the boat ramp. And uh, I got into the front of the boat and got my spinning rod out. He said, man, he said, you... You don't. You, is that what you're going to fish with? I said for the next few minutes anyway. <laughs> well, all I done was just got in there next, you know, halfway between the boat ramp and out to the no wake buoy, and I just turned the boat around. And first that gum cast, I had a good keeper. About two casts later, had another one. Two casts later, or, or cast later, I had another one, and they was stacked up on that point right there, and I had five before you. could. You know, and he said, I ain't got one of them rod and reels. <laughs> and I said, you don't have a spinning rod or nothing in that, you know, with all them reel, rod and reels you brought? He said, no, I didn't think we'd need one. I said, never go without one. Yeah, I said, you may need it, you may not. But I said, if you left it at home, you, you don't have one. Mm -hmm. So I said, I've got two or three, I've got a couple more in here. Do you want one? Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, I want the same thing you got tied on, <laughs> which was a little old quarter ounce but, uh, rubber jig. And, and uh, uh, you know, so I fixed him up just like I had. And we went across over one of them islands there and started on it. And, uh, you know, we, we just had a good time after that. But uh, he couldn't believe that. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, it, 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 it's okay. But yeah, I said, man, don't never go home. Don't never go anywhere without one because you never know what you're gonna run into. And I said, I'd love to, you know, caught them on a three-quarter ounce rubber jig myself. But I said, I knew what they was hmm. doing, and because uh, I come up here and practiced there one day, and that's that and the other. And I said, uh, yeah. So anyway, you, you you get into all kinds of stuff like that, and uh, uh, we really do. Now, now I'm going to tell you, here's, I've, <clears throat> I was down there at Watts Bar back the first of the month, and I was by myself, and uh, I ran up there to the Skimmer Dam and ac across from the Skimmer Dam and fished a couple of places there, and I got up there to the last little old rock on that clay bank, and throw that little old uh, rubber jig out there, quarter ounce job, and and it got about 10, 12 foot deep. And doop. Well, I set the hook on the son of a gun, got him up there in the boat, and you ain't gonna believe it. I reached down there to get him. When I reached to get him, he flopped, and there, I, there I had two hooks and and, and uh, had was had two fingers hooked with a treble hook. And there I said, and all I was doing was hoping that fish didn't jump again. You know, I said, God, dogs are mighty. So anyway, I fooled around there, and I got the hooks out of the fish, and I tossed him back in the, over the side, back in the water. And there I was with that plug and had my two fingers hooked together. And uh, so I said, God, dogs are mighty. So I took the plug off the, the, the line laid the rod down and there was all this kind of stuff and by then the wind had blowed me heck uh, I don't know three or four hundred yards up upstream and and uh, I kept fooling around there trying to figure out how I was going to get loose and and here come a boat up from Dickey Springs there and I thought boy that boat looks familiar and it was Scotty and, and Mike Russell and uh, so I went to doing, waving at them, doing that, and they, they saw the signal, so here they come. And uh, I didn't have any, really what we were looking for was some uh, braided line. And so here, you know, I didn't have any. Heck, it was all at the house. What, would you, what did I carry braided line for? Yeah. You know, and uh, 
So anyway, I got down there and I got that one hook out, and then that left the, the, the second hook in my finger there. And Scotty said, I got some braided line. And I said, well, let's get it on. And uh, we throwed that braided line around that hook. And he said, you ready? And I said, he done jerked it out. And I said, yeah, I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> so sure enough, so I got back there in my first aid kit and rubbed a little salve on it and put a Band-Aid around it and a little bit of black tape and and uh, went on about my business for the rest mm -hmm. of the day. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a deal. That, that uh, and, you know. So anyway, that's this. That was this. That was the first week of this month. So uh, you got rid of all that, and uh, you never know. Uh, so I went when I got home. I went to the back of the basement, and I got that wrapped me down about three foot of that heavy duty braided line. And uh, so I said, in case I get hooked up again, I got something to work with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens to the best of us, you know. Ain't um, happened to me yet. Yeah. Oh, you, you shoot. Uh, it's it's something else. Uh, dang it, man. Anyway, uh, I've had two or three in my lifetime so far. I'll probably have two or three more, good Lord willing, uh, before I leave this world. Mm -hmm. So I got me some braided line, put it in the boat, and I'm ready. Got some alcohol pads and all that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. What you got? I got a little bit of crappie film. You gonna tell us what you done down there on them large mouth and been up north catching well, small mouth? Well, you I, I went to North there the other day and and uh, just kind of checked things out. Uh, uh, Samantha's husband, Caleb, is uh, he and I are hopefully can fish the North Craft tournament. Well, uh, and uh, so I just went up there to see what was going on. And, That's and this Saturday? Uh, no, Saturday week. Saturday uh, week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the 6th or something like that. I'll have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, yeah. yeah, I did. I went up there and. Uh, uh, caught four or five fish. I mean, they wasn't easy to catch them. I'll tell you that right now. They was being tough. And uh, uh, so, you know, the big thing was I didn't find. I went up uh, towards Isla Neff there and, and got it. And I could tell the water was stained a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, out down towards uh, Andersonville and stuff is clear as drinking water. Oh yeah, yeah. so uh, you know how that happened, and uh, so anyway, I, I caught a few fish there. Four or five was in that mess. I, you know what I just showed there. Chandler showed. So uh, uh, and, and I know that one small mouth was uh, what it was seventeen, seven, eighteen inch. Yeah, he, he was dandy, and. Uh, I like never got him in, and then the other one was 15, 16 inches, you know, and then them largemouth, you know, they was two of them keepers. So uh, uh, and then I caught a small, uh, uh, small mouth and uh, on a little peanut jig, and uh, but the rest of them was on crankbait. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, 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 you know, it's that's mostly just, about what you've been using that wash bar crankbait. We've been throwing a crankbait, been throwing a jerk bait, and uh, uh, the day Scotty and I were down there was just unreal. We we was there, we put in at Blue Springs there, and I made a little circle over here to the right there, uh, and caught a fish on that rattle trap. And throwed and throwed and throwed it there, and never got another bite. And we idled across the uh, cove there, and shoot far. It was just Katie barred the door. Yeah. I mean, it, they just uh, was all over the place, mm. you, you know. And uh, they was on that Smith with Rogue. Yeah. And uh, so uh, we had a had a good trip that day. 
uh, I think we had caught, loaded 15 or 17, and I don't know how many we missed. Yeah. yeah about that same many more, but them fish was in there in the two, uh, two and a half foot of water uh, and out, you know, but most of them was backed up in them little old pockets there and shoot, you'd throw it in there and twitch it and bam. Yeah. You know, uh, so uh, uh, I I don't know that the lakes came up any since that trip, but uh, uh, if I get back down there this, here in the next few days, I'm going to throw my Smith the Grove to start with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because uh, they was definitely in them little old pockets. Sure was. And that warmer water and them manners. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the sunshine and uh that's that's the ticket is fish the places where the the sun's been warming up the water that's right uh and uh that was the trick about the whole thing we just went from little pocket and every one of them three of them little old pockets are coming out of blue springs and caught fish in every one of them mm -hmm. plus there's a lot of stumps and stuff too oh, yeah, out, yeah, out yeah. through yeah. there you know but uh, the fish was back in there and chewed <laughs> full of water. Yeah. Uh, I don't see how we kept from seeing them. When their fin fins out of the water, mm -hmm. but we didn't. But you'd, you'd get a bite. That's right. For sure. Uh, it's, uh, you know, and then uh, when, uh, you talked to Gary, and you said he was – Went, what Tuesday? Oh no! Uh, this is Tuesday night. You said he was down there when Saturday or Monday? He was down there yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. All right. Okay. So he's down there Monday. Yeah. 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 And he's had a pretty good trip. Yeah. He said that uh, he uh, put in uh, Emory there and uh, fished uh, two or three hours and didn't get a bite. And uh, so he loaded up and went down, put in Bell Cove, <clears throat> and uh, fished up Tennessee there. And uh, said he caught uh, a lot of good bass and everything on a crankbait. And uh, mm -hmm. said he decided uh, he'd been trying him crappie and uh, got in one brush pile and said he caught four out of it. And uh, it was, you know, it would keep. And, and that was it uh, as far as the crappie goes. Uh, other than that, he hadn't been able to find no crappie hardly at all. Mm hmm. Unless he went with me. Yeah. And, yep. Uh, stuff there. But yeah, we had a. We've had some uh, good trips down there. Yeah, I did want to tell everybody that uh, you try to go down to Big Springs there, that's right next to Hornsby. They got a sign up there where the ramp was. Broke all the pieces. Uh, they got it shut down this week. They're repairing the ramp. Oh, no kidding? Yeah. Well, oh, that's good. Yeah. That's your Shoot, wife. yeah. That sign's going to be closed Monday through Friday this week. Or, huh. I guess the yeah. time they can dip it all out and pour the concrete and then uh, yeah. give it time to cure out there a little bit. But, yeah. Well, that's, that's good. good. The only bad thing about it is the water's come up about two feet, you yeah. know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but anyway, that sounds good. That's a, that's great. I'm glad you, yeah, glad you let that out. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good place yeah. to put in down there. It, the, most of the time, it uh, been fishing, been fishing out of Big Springs down there because I uh, want to stay down in cleaner water. And uh, of course, it's. Uh, Wind gets pretty rough down there. I've had to mm -hmm. quit a couple of times, and then the last trip I done down there I had just a slight chop on the water, just a light breeze, and then I'd say about two o'clock, three o'clock, something like that. It just plumb quit blowing it all, and it got just slick as glass out there. I think I caught. Maybe two crappie. After deer, after, after when, it, when it slicked off. off. Yeah. Well, that cloud cover and breeze blowing 
chop on the water. Uh, it makes a big difference. It makes a big it? difference. Yeah, and then it, you get too much wind, you're out there it, fighting. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you don't want it to get too much. white caps and stuff, so, yeah. you know. I know all about that. Yeah, you don't need to, you know, when it's like that, you don't need to be out there hunting you somewhere in this, where there ain't no wind blowing, you know. Yeah. If you can find it. They ran yeah. us off down there at the one trip, and we would come back in the holler up there and thought, well, we'd get in behind that hump right there and uh, fish them trees in the creek there. And mm -hmm. It seemed like it was going around and it's coming right back out through there. Mm. <laughs> Just about as rough as it was out on the channel. Yeah. So, well. Know, it's been pretty rough. But, uh, I have got a text or two from uh, Tony Gallagher. He had a text me there, a picture. I think he had seven crappie there and he said it was tough so i assume he's either fishing out of caney creek or up tennessee or something mm -hmm. and i've had some pretty, pretty decent trips there i think uh at one week i had uh brought home 22 and uh the next uh trip i uh, guess that was me and you and we had a dozen. Yeah, you wouldn't let me catch none. No. Hurry up and talk, because I want you to show, you know, put these, and, uh, get him uh, put, put that film out there, yeah. the crappie I, film. I got uh, 15 the other day when I went down there. Mm-hmm. Uh, took uh, Paul with me, that, that boy of mine. Mm-hmm. So uh, he got off from work long enough and wanted to go finally. And took him down, had, had some dandy fish. I'm telling you, there was some whoppers in there. Yeah. Well, hmm. I wonder what caused that. I don't know, uh, but the ones I was catching was out there deep, and when I cleaned them there, uh, none of the eggs looked like they was anywhere close. They were just small eggs in them, even mm -hmm. though it was a big crappie. Yeah. The belly's full of manners and everything, but the eggs are real small. They're a long way from months or more away from uh, spawning time yeah, and and then you turn right around now and uh, uh what uh, gary's been telling you uh he'd catch what two or three maybe maybe one up there in the emory and uh uh and that water up tennessee too up tennessee he too four. he caught four up there about two foot deep and that's yeah. so there you go and then them big ones you've been catching has been out there in 40, 45 foot of water. Yeah. Now what's going on? Somebody's well, messed up. Before I got started after the snow and everything, you got to go back down there. Uh, you didn't see no schools of mentors, big schools. The last trip I made down there, they put the depth finder out. There was so many. Eight, nine foot down, come on down to 50 foot deep, it'd be a big school. I mean, monster school. And where they've been all winter, I have no well, idea. Well, uh, let's let Chandler put the film on. Yeah. Go ahead, Chandler, and show us that crappie film, we. All right, Mike finally got him one. Yeah. yeah. Good one, too. Yeah, that's a good crappie. We'll take him what we might. Oh, yeah. Caught him in the eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> Run around in that thing. Three down there like that. <laughs> yep. Let me get him off here in a second. <laughs> All right. All right. We got another nice in here. Get him in the boat here and see what he'll do if he don't flop off. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Got it. I got him out now. Yeah. Pretty good little copy. About 14 inches. We'll get him in a live well. See if we can find another. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> 
care who you are, you're just wait. We got business going on here. <laughs> Crappie there. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he'd run them all off, but he didn't. Yeah, it's hard to find him. All right, we get him in the box here. See if we can get another one. Oh, yeah, we take that. <laughs> <laughs> you got your mirror back, Mike. You got my mirror back. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> about him cherries and crappie to eat. Well, <clears throat> ain't enough here, Make a mess, ain't it? have dinner, is <laughs> All right, we'll stay after him here a little while longer. Maybe we won't get rained out too bad. Okay. Get back out here. There's number 10. Good crappie there, about 12 inches long. We get him in the box and see if we can find a few more. Alright, Gary's got him another crock in. It's number 11. Well, that's a dandy good 12 inch. So, hey. Alright, we get him in the box. Maybe we can get another. Alright, folks, oh, there's number 12. That's a good nice keeper, too. Real good keeper. 12 inch. We ain't as bad as them others. I think that might be a male or something. He's a good one anyway. We'll put him in there and see how good he is in the frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, I got another on here if I can get him up here. Uh, hard to camera and find too.
Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey folks, I'm down here at Watch Bar. We put in down here in Big Springs. Water temperature there, 59, 60 degrees. Steve's trying to get rigged up. He's done caught himself twice, so, and I don't know, maybe he'll get rigged up here four days that way. I kind of uh, But anyway, I'll get him down here and see what we can do. Is that too much between the hooks? Oh, that'll be all right. Foot, 18 inches, something like that, two foot. Just don't get too too carried away. Hmm. Already in. Already in, okay. He said that wind was a little bit cool, but uh, I told him to bring his jacket, but he left it in the truck. <laughs> You'll get rigged up here in a minute. Hopefully we can get back on them crappie. We caught uh, me and Gary then down here the last time I got 23 when I got to the house I started counting them out so should have had a limit should have had 30 but things that wind got too rough and lost a few so anyway we'll get out here and see what we can find out about 10 11 o'clock so ain't no big hurry them crappie don't matter what time of day it is as long as you get a minute in front of them they'll, they'll buy it so remember the sponsors and uh, we'll catch you on the flip side here can't tell if they got the same things on or not i think it is mike's got a big old crappie there <clears throat> sure is I don't want you to tell how deep you caught that, Mike. Yeah. All right. Turn him around there sideways. Oh, yeah. Throw my miner back out here. Huh? You got my miner in your mouth. I don't want you to throw it out in my live well. Yeah. All right. Good deal. Number one.
Let's get a gang of them. Boy. All right, Mike's got another one on here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. You're looking better all the time, Mike. Yes, sir. All right. Number two. Nice one. Nice one. All right, Mike got another one on here. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, another nice one. Shoot, or they're looking good. Frying pan size. Frying pan size. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that looks good, Mike. Them eat real good. Yeah. All right, there, Mike is with another fish now. Another crappie. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, wait, you're gonna... Okay. Mike, laid another crappie up here on the deck. Keep on getting them, Mike. Yeah. All right. All right. Mike has got another one on here now. Hadn't got him up yet, but he's slowly working his way up. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Golly, boom. Yeah, what a crappie. <laughs> oh, Goodness gracious alive. That time feels fine, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, one of them's all you need, Mike. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's a nice one. I mean, a good one. Boy. Get about 15 of them, we'll be in business. <laughs> yep. Got it. There we go. There we go. Mm-hmm. You're kidding me. Oh, sorry, you just got to that boat. Yeah. Hey, right there? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, Brad, stop the water. Yeah. All right, there. Mike's got another dandy. Yeah. Another dandy. For yeah. sure. Okay. Let's get on it. Yeah. He wasn't hardly as big as that man are you fishing with. No, he wasn't. All right, Mike's got another one on right here. We don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he look at it. Don't... <laughs> yeah. Goodness gracious, alive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I should have put them gold hooks on. You, that's why I ain't catching nothing. You, you sabotage. Yeah, that's what the deal is. I see now what's going on. Yeah, well, Steve got one there. I don't think he's going to measure. We'll check him out and see if he don't. We'll throw him back. I thought you was throwing them back, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Mike's got another good crappie there. Need a load. Need a load. All right. Let's see. Then you put them back in here. Right there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A keeper, Mike. Yeah. Yes, sir. In the box he goes. Another good crappie. Got a boy, Mike. Yeah. I think 
Mike's got another crappie on here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, golly, man. What a golly. Yeah. Man, a lion. What a monster. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, that's the one that we're frying pan. Yeah, I reckon so. Kids, gracious, man. Mm-mm-mm. Shoot. Five more of them right here in the next few minutes. We'd be in business. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, blind. Hmm. Oh, that's a whopper, <laughs> Mike. I mean a dandy. All right. You got some shoulders on him. You ain't kidding. Now we got. Oh, Mike. He's a uh, a fall. He's about him fishing today, he took a day off from work there. Got him a nice crappie there. Yeah, he cooked pretty good. That's a nice crappie. Uh, give me a bear needle nose here. Let you get it and hook and get him in the box. Be sure and put him on your side now. Yeah, the empty side. Stick with us, remember the sponsors, and let's go fishing. All right, Mike, what do you think? Well, things changing uh, weather-wise and uh, making a difference on them fish. Uh, if it keeps warming on up, they'll get on in there and just keep getting shallower. Uh, been like the same, uh, most of them have been out there alongside that river channel and, and stuff there. And, uh, you just have to either start out shallow and work your way out or start out deep and work your way in until you find what depth they're at. And, uh, but the main thing is uh, find that structure. Now, usually you get out there and see them on the depth finder idling around and that's when everybody goes to trolling and catching them trolling. Yeah. So you just have to keep aware of that when you get up suspended like that. Some, a lot of them start out trolling 10, 15 foot deep and keep getting shallower after that. So you just have to mm -hmm. keep reminding them, you know, that. But, uh, some of them, when they get up there trolling, you can catch a limit before you know it. Yeah. I know uh, Jeff was telling me about the fella he was doing a kitchen for over there uh, on the Loudon, and uh, he said in two hours he, he had a limit. He had three different plugs that he trolled behind the boat there, and one that run 10, 15 foot, and one run about six down to five, and then one shallower runner there. And, He'd start down through there and said once he found out which one they were, it's all three the same color, but once he found the depth, then. Yeah, you, yeah, it puts you two or three on the same thing, and three, you catch it three, three at a time. three poles, it was all running yeah. hmm. out there about the same depth, and he said he just he couldn't get them off fast enough. <laughs> well, maybe that's what you need to try. That way I won't have to fish the deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? That's right. Yeah, shoot for Mike Dane. Uh, no, I, you know, Mike is just meticulous. Only got a couple of minutes here. But, you know, I had a couple of bites, the trip that I made with him. And, you know, yeah, when I failed to bite, I pulled on it, you know, I just snatched on him pretty quick but I, I learned right you know watching Mike there you'd think he didn't even have a fish on his line and he'd be just slowly rolling that thing up and, and there'd be a big old crappie there when he'd get up to the top of the water yeah well you know if you got one that's undersized and you bring him up too quick, quick yeah. 
Then he done blew up, blew up, you know. Right, his stomach's him. run out, and he's dead, and yeah. uh, ain't nothing you can do if you bring him up slow, give him time to get used to it. As you bring him up, then you can mm -hmm. maybe put the needle to him, let the air out of him, and he'll take off back down. Right, right. I, hey, that's the, that's the ticket right there. Ain't you no know, two ways about it. But he, you know, and like he said earlier. Uh, they, they they may not spawn till July. That's right. All right, folks. Listen, we got one minute left. Uh, make sure you pass the word around. Get get people calling in and following us like we used to do, and uh, uh, we'll see how things go, and, and hopefully we can continue through the year. So uh, uh, do remember our, the sponsor IUOE, and we can't thank those brothers over there enough. To, uh, for keeping us going here. They, they like to watch us. So, uh, anyway, how much time, Chandler? Uh, all right.